Sampai jumpa pada perjalanan berikutnya. Dear passengers, in a moment, we'll arrive at Banja Station. For those of you who will end your trip at Banja Station, please prepare yourself. Check your luggage and belongings. Hey guys, I'm here in Jogjakarta. Um, it was a really long ride. It was about six hours. I'm pretty tired. I just woke up from a nap. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of loudspeakers and people around me. Um, so I really, when I go to my new room here, I'm gonna catch a grab car, put my stuff away, and I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up everybody? I'm here in Jogjakarta and today I will be meeting up with my friend Zent who is an amazing local street artist based in Jogjakarta and I've heard a lot of really cool things about this place so I'm really excited to see what it's all about and I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. Hmm, there you go. Okay, let's go to ground floor. It's a kind of pretty cool like touch screen elevator thingy. Fancy. Hey. Hi, Lily. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Whoa. Look at this box. Is that where you put the helmet? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool bike. Check out this cool Yamaha. And I don't even know if I can. You want me to just climb? Yeah. <laughs> something very Japanese. Kalanganan, that's something very Japanese and local, as you can see. Ooh. Oh, it's like kind of buffet style. Ooh. Oh, nice. Very local. So you get your little weave plate. Do you eat meat? I eat meat, yeah. Okay, this is rice. Like mm. something spicy. Um, rice. Okay. Oh, merkan kikil. Kikil is like uh, cow skin. Oh, which one is the not spicy rice? Oh, you don't eat spicy. No, not too spicy. Wow, uh, so cool. Um, you like mushroom? Yeah. This one. Jambu. Uh, okay. how, how many? Just take. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I don't. I know. Chumi means like squid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's all I know. <laughs> Everything is in Indonesian. It's all like in a secret present. <laughs> yeah, you can take. Uh, I'm, I'm just not. I don't know any of these words. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sound is like a noodles. Oh. I don't know what kind of noodles. But I'm not sure. This is spicy. This one fish. Fish. And in that, it's another fish, but with spicy. Oh, okay. Spicy. This is spicy. Um, you said this one is uh, noodle. Okay. Yeah. Nasi oseng su noodle. Okay, I'll get that. Huha. What's huha? It's like spicy, very hot. <laughs> oh, spicy. That's why it's called huha. Like. <laughs> wow. Checker. Yeah. Checker. Like, it's chicken legs. Chicken legs. Yeah. Checker. Wow, this is cool. This one is fish. Fish balls. Yeah, fish balls. Uh, ikan, yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's hard to. I might have to put the camera down, guys. I need to get my food. See ya. Yeah. 
you get all this food here. You pay over there, and they're gonna give you something to grill all of it. Bir kelangan dua ya, mas. Okay, so while we have so many times, Klangen, Klangenan. Klangenan, yeah. What does Klangenan mean? Klangenan means. I don't remember. <laughs> it's in my Makasih. in my language, but I don't remember. Oh, it's in Jogja language. Okay. Good. Thank you. Maybe somewhere outside. So that was like 80k for both of us. What? For how much? A barapa? A 75. Okay, so that was 75 for both of these plates. I think that's a great deal. Yeah. Ooh, it's a nice place. Cool. Oh, you got us a drink. Yeah. What Try the drink. drink it? Is it a local drink? Yeah. Oops. Okay. Non alcoholic. Non alcoholic beer. beer. Oh. Cool. Non alcoholic beer. Mmm. Ooh, it's very sweet and bubbly. It's like sweet syrupy soda. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Is it a fruit? Like pineapple? I don't know. I think they use something like ginger. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. It tastes like ginger beer, but and not some the beer. leaves. Mmm. Okay, cool. And then they like give you this yeah. thing so you can cook your stuff. Okay. I'm gonna do my tempeh. So, this is uh, like soy sauce? Uh, I don't know what kind of sauce. <laughs> Cool, this is a really awesome spot. Thanks, then. <laughs> you, you said Jogja is the cheapest out of yeah. like, You can get Bandung. everything easily, and everything is cheaper than everywhere else. I love it. Like food, like the yeah. rent. So good. So, all of this, this, all of that, with this thing. 75, so good. Yeah. It's so good. Five dollars? So good. Oh, while this is cooking, I'm going to try this. It looks really cool, so let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Delicious, like rice cake. Oh yeah. Chewy. I love rice cake, and I think it's um, coconut um, flakes on it. Really good. Alright guys, so I'm gonna try it after the grill. I think this one is shomai. Shomai. Mm. I made that one crunchy. That was good. The inside is good. Tastes like shomai. So we'll, I'll chew this and I'll get the next one. Now we have fish balls. I think this is my first time eating ikan balls. <laughs> mm. It's fun to eat these little balls. It tastes good. It literally tastes like fish ball. And then this one, I think is just satay ayam. Mmm, mmm, really good. That one is enough. Well, there's so many left. Okay. Next we have. I forgot already. 
Looks good. Oh, I think you said it's fish. It's tempura. Yeah, made of fish. Tempura made of fish. Mm. Kind of tastes like shiomai. It's good. Or the fish balls, actually. It's like the fish ball. Hello. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, and I know this one is tempeh cubes. Tastes like tempeh. <laughs> the kids are watching. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, I think this is a this fish ball again. I'm not sure. Not sure. Not sure, but let's find uh, out. It's misoa, I think. Miso. Oh, miso. What is misoa? Uh, something like miso. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Uh, misoa. Hi. Hmm. It's good. It's like soft in the middle, but it's a mystery. But it's a it's a good enough mystery. <laughs> okay, unboxing the little present. So it just looks like nasi, white rice, nasi putti, and oh, it's really dark, you can't see, but just Something I think like they said noodles. bihun. Yeah, bihun. Yeah, yeah, bihun. And then uh, more white rice and some just I think some vegetables, I'm not sure. Let's see. Maybe onions, but actually, uh, this one is I'll, I'll uh, give it a try. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it's j jamur. jamur. Yeah. Mm. Oh, spicy. spicy. Ah, damn. Very little bit, but I'm. I'm sorry, very weak. I didn't know. I can't take spicy, but he could take level 100 spicy. You could see all the spice there. What got you into street art? I like to paint since I was small and yeah I was just curious person like okay I used to see it on wall uh, the time I started in 2004 I didn't use spray paint like now like what I do now mm -hmm. I use brush or something and then I suddenly like saw graffiti like it looks like it's made differently like with compressor or something like airbrush because i didn't know that i didn't think that it was spray paint mm. like some people could make the lines very thin because if uh the time i think with spray paint it's impossible to make this thin line yeah and then yeah i was just curious and then in 2007 i met like gravity artist he was painting so i saw it like in front of me my eyes oh okay it's like that and so you have uh, special caps for to make uh, the lines oh yeah so it can process like uh, wider lines or thinner something like that cool. and then yeah from 2007 i started painting using spray paint only and then 2008 uh, I started painting like portraits but on wall. Uh, before me in Indonesia there was no one painting portraits with spray paint on wall. So I started wow. the first. You were the first one yeah. to spray paint in Indonesia. Yeah. Whoa. So that's uh, mostly how people know me. Because oh. I started this and then I started 3D graffiti or something. While people were still doing like general graffiti like wild style or something cool. but i decided to make something else very and then, unique yeah or actually do you get influenced by other uh, street artists street artists i have no influence but artists uh painters uh salvador dali but oh, he is wow. a painter yeah but from street art Big no. name. I love a lot of street artists, but it's not like I follow them like... Yeah, yeah, like very closely. Yeah. 
because did you study art when no. you're oh. I wanted to study art uh, uh, in high school there is a high school like uh, what you learn there is just about art, art. but uh, my dad didn't allow me because uh -huh. Yeah. What did he want you to study? And so he said, like, if you go there, uh, what will you be after? So because of that, I went to technical engineering uh, school. Zent Crozet and Zarinka Porto. Super cool. That's dope. I love like the splatter. It's pretty color too. I love how like there's an eagle on top of her and she's like a part of the eagle it's like symbolizes uh kind of strong free spirit freedom independent woman this is the artist <laughs> when did you make this piece i don't remember but i think last year last year Is there like story or symbolism in this? Actually, most of my work are spontaneous. Like, uh. but this is about like a female. Like, uh, strong woman or st strong female figure. Yeah, it looks like it. That's so cool. Here's another one. So Zen says pretty much all around Jogja, he can just paint anywhere and most of the owners know him too, so that's really awesome. So no getting in trouble here in Jogja when you do street art. So dope. Ah. Very cool. When did you do this piece? Uh, last year. Last year. Okay, like that that one first and then the second. Very cool. Mm. Okay, so we were walking for a boba and I got the ube taro cheese and it's actually buy one get one free. So <laughs> Very taro-y and cheesy. Ooh, here's another one of Zen's art pieces. <laughs> and there's like a plant growing right in the middle. Oh, that's cool. There's like a, a mummy guy. And it's like he's climbing this tree. Or, oh no, he's riding a bike. Oh, there's so much going on. <laughs> it's so random. And there's like a boom. I right in the middle very cool so you said there's really no meaning really it's spontaneous art actually I wanted just to paint this uh, something in the middle of the window just one eye oh nice that's the year 2021 is that your real name? No one knows my real name. No one knows your real name? Hmm. I wonder. Agus? What? Agus? <laughs> Agus? How do you know that name? 
my tour guide. This <laughs> is my last tour guide. Was named Agus. <laughs> Cool. So there are so many birds. He says there's every place. He says that these birds are from Russia because it's winter time. <laughs> Selamat menikmati